The EQT Pittsburgh Three Rivers Regatta is rounding the bend with one of the most powerful events in its 35-year history. For the first time, the regatta is bringing a new class of boat racing to our region, something called Super Stock P1, offshore V-hulled monster boats that will be thundering the Three Rivers. The regatta is the Tri-State's largest summertime event, and it's all free. Michael Dungelli is Senior Vice President of ISM USA, the event managers and organizers of the EQT Pittsburgh Three Rivers Regatta. Welcome, good to see you. Yeah, thank you, glad to be here, really glad to be here. Yeah, 35 years, three and a half decades and uh, still splashing as we like to say. Well, and it is remarkable, you think about 35 years ago, it's a very different Pittsburgh. The Steelers had only won two Super Bowls <laughs> back then, so. Yeah, as we were talking, everything does kind of relate back to the black and gold when you look at history in this town and, uh, and the Regatta has some history itself, you know, I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's it's survived for that long for the most part, but at the same time, you know, it, it's it's had some milestones of its own. I mean, powerboat racing actually got its start here back in the 80s. We had really the first uh, the first uh, championship race here in the United States uh, back in the early 80s. I didn't and realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That, yeah. And, uh, and and the event itself is always going to be about uh, fireworks and 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 boat racing. I mean, those are always the two biggest uh, signature events that we do. But uh, yeah, we're really excited about this year. Yeah, I haven't been around quite long enough to to have been here when the regatta started, but it really was at the time symbolic of the, the recovery in the region's rivers, the fact that we could actually have recreation on the rivers, yeah. kind of a symbol of people returning to the rivers. Yeah, here. absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's transformed itself into the world's, or not the world's, but the country's largest inland regatta. And uh, as racing goes, you know, it's a little challenging. We're also the largest uh, venue on the powerboat racing circuit. So in the, in the tour in the United States, uh, more people come out to watch powerboat racing at the regatta than anywhere else in the United States on the tour. So, uh, you know, we're pretty excited about that. And it's become really the most challenging course now uh, in uh uh, F2 and F3 classifications. And what makes it a challenging course? Well, first of all, the currents in the Allegheny River, uh, it's kind of choppy, and also ever since they uh, they put the seawall in, now you've got really water that bounces off of both sides of the river. Sloshing back and forth. Absolutely. Okay. So, you know, the weight that's created uh, just really comes right back into the middle of the river. Uh, it's, so that's what makes it uh, pretty uh, challenging, but it's also, uh, you know, the boaters like it for that reason, you know, and, and the fact that they actually get to race inner city and in front of hundreds of thousands of people, so they don't have that experience anywhere else wherever they go. And, and the, the, the power boats everybody are used to seeing, fairly small, they can make those hairpin turns to do the yeah. loop in the Allegheny River. These new boats are, are bigger than those. Oh right? yeah, we're, we're excited about it. The third year in a row we're hosting the North American Championships in the F2 and F3 classifications. Now that's tunnel boat racing. A little bit, okay. little bit different than what you're talking about, the Superstock P1s, which are the offshore boats. Those boats are about twice the size of the, of the tunnel boats, but they actually uh, reach speeds of maybe only about a little more than half of what a tunnel boat does. Okay. So an F2 will get up to about 125 if you really let it go. Uh, these boats at maximum speed will be about uh, 70 to 80 miles an hour, but they need a much wider radius to turn. So uh, when you're seeing them out there, it just looks pretty pretty impressive. And they're V-hauled as opposed to being, you know, the tunnel boat shape that we normally have. Sure. And uh, we can imagine something 30 feet wide, uh, 10 or 12 of them in a river racing around. It's, it's going to be pretty exciting. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tight, yeah, given, given the width, tight. Uh, width of the Allegheny River there. I also notice you're bringing in a great big uh, towboat type thing that people can tour this year. Yeah, it's the uh, AEP Mariner, uh, one of the biggest uh, towboats uh, racing up and down the river. It's it's, it's massive. It's a racing no, it's not, no, a, not race. a racing. No, not a racing. We shouldn't say that. This is next year. Right? <laughs> Maybe the next year we might bring in. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, <laughs> people can actually tour that on July 3rd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. All free as uh, everything in, in the regatta really is. And I think that's what makes the event truly magical. You know, we. Um, we've got world-class land and water entertainment, but people don't have to spend a dime to really watch it. Everything is absolutely free. Uh, the only thing you're really paying for is if you want to buy something from the uh, concession stands that we have down there, but everything else, you just show up at the times that it's going on and uh, and you can watch it. What well, a great family event. And this year it's more than four days, right? Because the 4th of July falls in the middle of the week. Yeah, exactly. So we're starting on uh, June 30th, actually, and uh, then going for all the way to uh, July 4th. So five days starting from noon until 9 p.m. And uh, really, in addition to the super stock, you got some interesting things that, uh, that you're going to be able to do. We're actually setting up an artificial ice surface, uh, so you can you can actually come down and ice skate if you want. Uh, we've got a great laser show. We introduced lasers uh, into the regatta the first year that we were doing it. It actually worked in conjunction with the fireworks. Uh, a lot of people didn't get the full effect of it because that day was incredibly humid, and the smoke from the fireworks kept the uh, kept everything uh, kept the uh, I'm sorry the humidity kept the smoke of the fireworks okay. down, and so, so the, you couldn't see the lasers. So you couldn't see the lasers. Yeah, exactly. This this we won't have that happen at all because it's a it's a a, a show unto itself. 
that goes on four nights, June 30th through July 3rd. 30 minutes, it's laser projections, and then lasers coming out over the crowd, and then all choreographed with flame projectors going up at the same time. So Exciting, and of course, big fireworks on the 4th of July. Yeah, so a lot yeah. to look forward to. The EQT Pittsburgh Three Rivers were gone. Oh, Michael yeah. Dojelli, thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome, yeah. Bill. Thanks for having us on. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.